Hi, this is Mike Mozart back again bringing you the coolest products of yesterday and today. And today I'm bringing you a whole shipment full of Easter fail. That's right, I went to Walmart and picked up a whole armload of fail. That funny bunny. It's the bunny that poops jelly beans. Ooh, jelly beans <laughs> fresh from the rabbit's ass. I think he's got the runs. And they also have edible Easter grass to put in your Easter basket. Eggs and candy. Can you imagine what the kids are going to look like Easter morning? <laughs> Yuck. Who thought this was a good idea? I mean, really. Oh, and also, Easter fail candles have arrived at the dollar store. Why do they keep putting wicks on top of these characters' heads? I mean, really. What are they thinking? You know what's going to happen when you burn that candle down? <gasps> Let's find out. Happy Easter! Mention this in the comments section. And saving the best for last from the Walmart Easter toy department, the Punch Ball Critter. Um, it's a little pink plastic bunny you're supposed to blow up. Already this doesn't look good. I mean, really. Oh, so if this isn't bad enough that that's where you blow it up, I'm not kidding. Um, check out the back part of this rabbit. Ew. <laughs> no, I can't do it again. <laughs> but look at this mouth. <laughs> what were they thinking? I mean, really. The Mike Mozart question of the day is on the fail o meter, how do you rate the pink bunny punch ball? Um, also rated on the inappropriate o meter, too. And um, how do you rate the little bunny candle on the fail o meter? And how do you rate edible Easter grass on the fail meter Hey, if you like this review of all this Easter fail, please give me five stars or write down there. I'd really appreciate those five stars. And if you like these fail products, push that little blue word down there. I have over um, 120 cool, funny, and fail toy reviews. I think you'll like them. Oh, and don't forget to push that little yellow subscription button. You'll be glad you did because um, I have over 250,000 toys. I'm a professional toy designer and I'm doing lots more of the, the good, the bad, and the fail products of today and yesteryear. I mean, really.